Sveiki, bičiuliai, šiandien Vilniuje turime neįlinį svečią, labai garsiai burzginti. Vis dar su V8 varikliu, senai 11 metų formulės, vienas Sebastiano Fetelio bolida. Pasikalbinsime dabar įvairuojantį test driverį, pasižiūrėsime iš arčiau, kaip atrodo šitas technikos tebuklas. When you're driving in this kind of situation, in this small street, is it tough for you? It's quite tricky because sometimes it's very narrow, then you have cobblestones, you have tarmac, sometimes it's raining and you have to adapt to it. But everything is fine so far, it's especially that scenery here, around here, it's, it's really great. It's out there, it's always better when it's dry because the crowds are standing out there in the rain the whole day, it's not that nice. But I think we're going to have a lovely weather. Many people are coming out there to watch us. Especially the sound of that car, of the V8. It sounds properly. It's a really proper nice car. What do you think about this year at one uh, at Formula One? Uh, will you uh, stop and win or, or again? Hopefully. At the moment it's looking really great. So they're doing really well. They have a really good car. Max is on really on the peak. And also Formula One is is growing, every race is sold out, so the performance is there and they're really exciting races. Uh, this year's car is a 1.6 hybrid engine, whereas this car here is a 2.4 V8 engine. There is no hybrid on this car. That's, that's the biggest difference. Aerodynamically, the main differences are the ground effects on the current car, uh, whereas this is larger wings and more winglets and more external aerodynamic uh, downforce gadgets on it. So this car wouldn't have a chance in this year of Formula 1? Uh, mainly for power reasons it wouldn't have a chance, um, but uh, it wouldn't be that far off. I think it handled the slower corners a bit better. Uh, why did you decide to come here in Lithuania after 12 years? Uh, as you say, we were here 12 years ago, we had a great time. We've been looking to come back, Covid put a stop to that a couple of times. But uh, it's great to be back here now, uh, especially shooting in this fantastic city, such a beautiful old town, and we're looking forward to the run tomorrow. We, uh, we hear there's going to be a lot of interest, a lot of people there, so uh, that's always good fun for us. Would you please explain the popularity growth of Formula One in the United States and Middle East? <laughs> um, it's, a lot of it is driven by obviously the Netflix show, obviously helped it along. But I think it's been steadily growing in America uh, for the last five to six years. In the Middle East, it's been growing for a lot longer than that. I think it's just reaching its pinnacle now. Uh, and uh, the um, Americans are going crazy over it. We've had some great, uh, we've done some great events over there, some show car events, some filming, and uh, we're looking forward to getting back there. Maybe you have tricky stories from showruns. I mean, you couldn't run the engine or someone was trying to to drive it jump from in. yeah jump in <laughs> no we haven't had anyone try and jump in yet uh, i don't want you suggesting that to anyone you know, it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's a bit tricky to drive and that's where the uh, we get the experts in you came from karts world to formula 
3000 Formula One. Uh, what's the main um, issue when you switch from karts to Formula One? It's the speed uh, or? I mean, go karts is the first step where all the racing drivers are starting because when you're very young, you start at the moment now they start with five or six, so really young. And I think it's one of the best schools because you learn everything there. You get the close racing, also the technical side, you can work, prepare the cars, uh, managing the tires, tire pressure and everything. And then you just grow up step by step, you do all the Formula classes. Now at the moment it's Formula 4, Formula 3, uh, Formula 2 and Formula 1. But to reach Formula 1, it's very tough. But as a young kid, you need to have a, a dream. And if you have a dream and you just go on it, and there's always a way to go. Would you compare Formula One with Formula E? And how you forecast the future of the Formula One uh, power trains? Will it be noisy or not? For me, it has to be noisy. It's just the sound, it's excitement, you get goosebumps. It, we need sound in motorsport, in my opinion. But of course, Formula E is growing as well. A lot of manufacturers are there, but there, there will be some mixture. Okay, maybe you can tell what was your top speed in the show run? Uh, top speed, what we did was around 300, 310. <laughs> yeah. In the city? Oh, yeah. this, this show run? No, not this <laughs> one. No, <laughs> it's some other ones. No, not the. Not Where it happened? Here, I don't know. Yeah. Here we went up to 106, yeah. yeah, 120. It's mm. depending on the, on the street. You need long straight for that, yeah? Yeah.